Buddhism is one of the oldest religions in the world with a history of over 2,000 years in China. Tibetan Buddhism is an important part of Chinese Buddhism. To understand Xizang, these facts about Tibetan Buddhism are a mess. Join me for a city walk through the landmarks of Lhasa. Our trip started at Barker Street, the heart of Lhasa. Comprises of a network of 35 streets and alleys with over 4,000 shops. This is the former residence of the Qing government's minister to Xizang on the Barker Street. 138 ministers were stationed there over the ensuing 200 years. Tibetan Buddhism, also known as the Tibetan-speaking Buddhism, is one of the three major language systems of Chinese Buddhism. The other two are Mandarin-speaking Buddhism and Pali-speaking Buddhism. Based on the latest data in November 2023, Xizang has over 1,700 sites for Tibetan Buddhist activities with about 46,000 monks and nuns. In the middle of the 7th century, Buddhism was introduced to Xizang from both South Asia and Chinese mainland. Song Teng Ganpo was the founder of the Tibetan Tubo Kingdom. This is the birthplace of Song Teng Ganpo in Medjugonka County of Lhasa. Song Teng Ganpo's memorial hall was set up here to tell his story and the old days of Tubo Kingdom. Although he lived for only 34 years, Song Teng Ganpo unified the Tibetan plateau and relocated his kingdom's capital to modern-day Lhasa. He married Nepali Princess Brigudi and Princess Wenchen of the Tang Dynasty. Both princesses practiced Buddhism. The Han Buddhism brought by Princess Wenchen and the Indian Buddhism brought by Princess Brigudi, together with some local religions of Tubo, gradually formed the Tibetan Buddhism. The building behind me is the Potala Palace and the world's highest ancient palace and a landmark in China's Xizang Autonomous Region. The Potala Palace was built under the direction of Song Teng Ganpo in the 7th century. It's recorded that Song Teng Ganpo built this palace to marry Princess Wencheng. However, the Potala Palace built by Song Teng Ganpo had already been turned into ruins and the current Potala Palace was rebuilt by the 5th Dalai Lama in the 17th century. And since then, the Potala Palace is the winter residence of the Dalai Lamas. If you want to ask me what the summer residence of the Dalai Lamas is, do follow me to continue our trip and you will find the answer. This is the famous Zhoukong Temple in Lhasa, which has a history of over 1,300 years. It was built under the direction of Princess Brigudi, with the strong support of Princess Wencheng. The statue of Sakai Muni, age 12, brought by Princess Wenchen from Chang'an, is enshrined here. The Tang Tubo Alliance Monument in front of the Zhoukong Temple was built in 823. The inscription on the monument says the Tubo and the Tang Dynasty became one family and started a new journey. It reflects the ethnic unity between the Han and Tibetan peoples over the past 1,200 years. Here I met Laba, a monk and the executive deputy director of Zhoukong Temple Management Committee. What is the mysterious reincarnation of the living Buddhas in Tibetan Buddhism? What are the living Buddha, Dalai, and Panchen? According to Buddhist theory, all forms of life consist of body and soul. Although the flesh may perish, the soul keeps reincarnating on the well of life. The reincarnation of the living Buddha is a system set up by Tibetan Buddhist monasteries to settle the succession of the leaders which first started in the 13th century. Living Buddha refers to the successor who becomes the leader of Tibetan Buddhist monasteries based on the reincarnation system. Rinpoche means treasure and is the respectful name for a living Buddha among the Tibetan faithful. 
This is the Dripal Monastery in the western suburb of Lhasa, which is the largest of all six major monasteries of the Galuk School of Tibetan Buddhism and also the largest of all Tibetan Buddhist monasteries. The Galug is the school with the largest number of living Buddha systems in Tibetan Buddhism, the most well-known of which are the Dalai Lama and Panchen Erdeni. So the Dalai Lama and Panchen Erdeni are not names, they are the titles of living Buddhas. The current Dalai Lama is the 14th reincarnation and the current Panchen Erdeni is the 11th. The Galug school was founded in 1409. The word Dalai means sea in Mongolian, Lama means master in Tibetan. Panchen is the Tibetan word for a master who is skilled in all kinds of religious knowledge, and Erdeni means treasure in the Manchu language. I met a group of girls who study at a nearby college and came to Dripal Monastery to pray for their families. This is Nuobolinka, a world heritage site in Lhasa, which means precious garden in Tibetan, and it's the summer residence of the Dalai Lamas and was built in 1751. So congratulations, the answer is Nuobolinka. Did you guess correctly? Nobulinka features many halls that are almost entirely painted with frescoes covering the history of Xizang. The building behind me is Dada Mingjiu Pozhang or Unchanging Palace in Tibetan. It's the last palace built in Nobulinka from 1954 to 1956. There are 301 murals in the hall of this palace. And one of the murals depicts the 5th Dalai Lama's audience with Emperor Shunzhi in 1653. Here you can see a valuable exhibit, which is the golden seal awarded by Emperor Yongzheng to the 7th Dalai Lama, and is the only existing golden seal awarded for Dalai Lama's left. The Qing Dynasty officially conferred the title of Dalai Lama and Panchen Erdeni to the 5th Dalai Lama and the 5th Panchen in 1652 and 1713 respectively. And so the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama and Panchen Erdeni must be approved by the central government. How do people find in from a reincarnated soul boy? It's done by inspection, the boy identifying relics used by the previous living Buddha and then submitting it to the government for approval. Finally, the boy is enthroned to succeed the previous living Buddha. In 2007, China implemented management measures for the reincarnations of living Buddhas in Tibetan Buddhism. In 2016, an online system was launched to check the authenticity of living Buddhas in Tibetan Buddhism. By the end of 2022, 93 new living Buddhas reincarnations had been approved and recognized. Now I went back to the Bakra Street and it's full of tourists taking photos in traditional Tibetan dress. Here I met a Tibetan photographer who has been in the business for almost 20 years at the Bakra Street. Now I will wear this traditional Tibetan dress as a way of experiencing Tibetan culture. I really enjoy the beauty brought by wearing this traditional Tibetan dress. I also appreciate and respect Tibetan culture and the customs behind it. And it's the end of our trip. I hope you learn more about Tibetan Buddhism. Are there any questions you are interested in? Just leave a comment below.